Wood. Like I definitely like going up little hills and stuff. I noticed that I've running, been running, but I wanted to go out with a sort of RPE rate of perceived exertion of about sort of two Top to coming. three. Yeah. And like I just feel great. Like it's just you really notice when you get into the case and you start sort of building mileage, easy mileage. The conditioning makes such a difference to how you feel. So I thought. You know, if I had my case around six minutes, which is what I was thinking in terms of that perceived effort, but actually for the effort, I um, am going just a little bit quicker than that, maybe like 540s average, that kind of thing. So, but I'm not even worried about the pace. I'm just really interested to see that that's how it's sort of played out. And the fact that you're yeah. talking whilst running means you're doing it at an easy pace, right? Oh yeah, RPE now is about nine, because I'm talking, <laughs> isn't that? <laughs> but what a difference it makes, but no, it feels, yeah, I feel really good. And also, beautiful weather. Loads of people out. Like, it's just a... Heaps. It's just a, I think it's... It feels like a good day. I feel like it'll be a good day. And how are the trainers? The trainers are fantastic. I swapped in these. Are, I mean, I, I walked with them yesterday, but these are just a different pair. And so they even feel a little bit lighter. Um, morning. Good day. And, uh... And... Yeah, just feel really good and no niggles. Like I don't feel an Achilles, I don't feel a hemi or anything like that. Like I was thinking about it, what one of some of the successful, probably the strategies used to help with recovery. It's got to be that double stout, <laughs> doesn't it? I reckon. Yeah, like full of carbs, delicious hops. Hops is brilliant for recovery. It's thick enough to sort of want to eat it with a knife and fork so as opposed to drink it I don't know I should know I'm a nutritionist cool bag